what's going on youtube i am highway to hill and this is my riding jacket by first gear so uh, this is a us brand who makes uh, you know motorcycle uh, riding gear and uh, see if you if you're watching this video i'm i'm curious to know if you have ever heard of this brand name before because honestly when i purchased this jacket 6 years ago i got this in 2015 i had never heard of this brand i only knew rhinox uh, alpine star your dynasty and all the other usual brands but uh, yeah 6 years down the lane i am still using this jacket this jacket has been just incredible has been amazing and uh, i have done it at least 30 35000 kilometers of touring using this jacket and even today uh, this jacket looks really good there is it's not torn anywhere and uh, you know not even a single stitch has you know come out it's been it's been so good so i actually got this jacket from a store in uh, tinagar now this store motorcycle riding gear store was shutting down and uh, i happened to be there at uh, at the right time and he was giving away a lot of these riding gear for uh, uh, a good discount 20 30 40 up to 50% discount so this jacket was uh, uh, 16000 rupees uh, and uh, i got it for 11000 and i thought it was a good deal it had everything that i wanted i wanted a air mesh jacket uh, that's what this is and it also has armor so it has your shoulder armor and it also has uh, elbow armor over here and uh, there is a back protector i mean this is just a foam but uh, this is just a piece of foam but uh, yeah if you want you can put in a back protector over here as well uh, it doesn't have uh, any uh, option to put uh, chest protectors uh, maybe that is something that i want to get for my next jacket that will be a good upgrade to uh, upgrade to get uh, you know chest protectors over here i've been really happy with this jacket i have been i've used like i said i've used it for past 6 years and it still looks really good uh, so the outer material is polyester this is polyester and uh, now this is not waterproof so this outer surface can get wet and uh, the inner lining that you see over here so this is nylon nylon and again this part you see this is polyester so it's a combination of nylon and then polyester and and you can see there is a there is a inner lining over here which is nylon uh, beyond this if you can see so uh, that will uh, you know not allow you know uh, water to get in but uh, the outer surface can get wet now uh, since it's a air it's known as a air mesh jacket so uh, there are two openings over here one here and one here for air flow and there is one at the back as well and uh, this is the logo of the brand first gear this is reflective this is on the uh, upper arm over here there is on the left hand side and the right hand side uh, both uh, reflect light and uh, yeah this is another reflective material over here uh, reflective material over here as well and then this is also uh, reflective and then this line over here you have adjustments over here at your waist uh, on on both the sides and uh, there are these straps and also you have straps over here um one thing that i wish that this jacket had uh, i wish it had straps over here at the elbow now as you can see there there is armor over here and this part is a bit loose it's it's maybe because this is american size it's slightly bigger for me but uh, this area is a bit loose god forbid if you if you fall down 
my only worry is that you know this is a bit loose and if this moves out of the way uh, you you can get seriously hurt so i really wish that this jacket had some sort of strap over here something over here so that this armor the elbow armor would be kind of snug snug over here but apart from that uh, don't have any other complaints uh, it's a bit heavy um, but that's usual with armored jackets you have a armor over here and then the the elbow armor is also pretty big as you can see it's at least 10 to 12 inches so that's a pretty uh, big armor so that makes the jacket uh, a bit heavy but uh, yeah i think that's how riding jackets are and uh, the closure you get uh, um, two uh, two zips over here one is uh, this the inside one where this uh, nylon piece is there so that won't let the uh, um, you know if it's raining there's water it won't let it in inside and then there is a outer zip as well pockets over here there's one pocket here there's one pocket here and uh, there is one huge uh, massive pocket over here you can you can carry i usually carry uh, sometimes a half a liter bottle over here i can even carry some biscuit packets over here so this one is huge the the other one thing is uh, this mobile pouch now this is pretty useless because it's very small so let me try so this is my phone this is uh, 6 6.2 inches and uh, if i just try to fit this now this doesn't fit at all so could have been little bigger because today all the phones are at least six six and a half inches tall so that way um, this is pretty useless i usually keep my keys over here because yeah uh, it's pretty it's it's too small for my mobile phone and uh, there is uh, another uh, zip over here these are all ykk chains and uh, this is for the pant attachment so if you have a pant you can attach it over here and another thing i want to show you is the material that's inside over here so you can see really soft material over here gives you all the comfort you know when you're riding long distance like i am touring you know nine hours ten hours up to 11 hours in a day covering 600 700 kilometers you know anything you know uh, over here or even at at this place you know so really soft material given over here gives you all the comfort and uh, you can also adjust where the shoulder uh, you know armor will stay so if you are maybe broad shoulder or narrow shoulder then what you can do is there is another piece of velcro over here so you can shift this armor from here to here and if you are broad shoulder then you probably want to put it over here so a little bit of adjustment is there and you can remove this uh, you can remove the armor also and replace it with a new armor if there is some damage if you want to wash it you want to clean it you can do that as well so overall i mean i from completely unknown brand and i have you know come to love this jacket so much it still looks great i i i've been using it for the past six years and i've been wanting to upgrade but this jacket is still so good and still going so strong that i really you know haven't had the chance to upgrade this so in my next upgrade i'm looking for you know chest protection and maybe something that is a little more snug fit because i think this is a bit too just a bit too heavy i think for me and also the size even though it's medium size which should fit me it feels a little bit a uh, little bit uh, larger for my body so maybe something more compact and more snug so that's my riding jacket guys do let me know what you think and uh, also let me know like i asked earlier if you have ever heard of this band before they don't make a lot of jackets they have only like uh, you know four or five there is a new version of th this uh, textile air mesh jacket uh, there is uh, a heated jacket that they have and they have two other jackets one is called the 
first gear Kathmandu jacket and there is uh, another one which is called as the first gear Kilimanjaro jacket those are pretty expensive I think those are like $400 so I hope you found this interesting let me know what you think I am Highway to Hill and I'll see you soon in the next video until then you guys stay safe ciao